Hey everybody and welcome back to Video Game Esoterica and Auto Technicality. And today what we're going to be doing is teaching you how to take a CHD or compressed hunk of data file from MAME and exporting burnable files so that you can make a CD-ROM for your arcade hardware. A lot of times when you buy a PCB, the original disc may not come with it. It's quite rare. So you can actually extract the CHD files so that you're able to burn that disc. In the folder right here, you're going to see two files, CHD man, which comes with MAME. That's going to be what you use to extract it. If you try to launch it directly from the window, it won't work. So what you're going to want to do is come down here and open up the command line so that you can actually use command line prompts to be able to extract that ISO or binq file from the CHD. In the folder as well is Heat of 11. It's a Konami game. It's just something I'm using for an example. But when you get the command line prompt open, if you drag CHD man right in, it's going to show you the folder that it is in in case you need to check on that. What you can do is, if you're not familiar with your DOS commands, just do CD space, and then you're going to type in the appropriate folders that CHD man is in. And then when you get there, if you just hit directory, you will see that we have CHD man and Heat of 11.chd, that compressed hunks of data file. So what we're going to need to do now is using prompts, we're gonna to have to tell CHD man what we wanna do with that compressed hunk of data file. So what you're gonna to need to type in is CHD man, CHD man space extract CD, and that's gonna tell the application what you're focusing on. You're gonna put a space in and you're gonna do negative I, and that's your input file, and you're gonna to need to type that specifically, for this instance, heat of 11.chd. If you misspell it, it will not work. From there, what you're going to do is you're going to type in negative O for output, and you're going to type in the file name that you want. It's in this instance, I did heat.q and then space negative OB output binary heat.bin. That's going to separate the CHD contents out into a Q file and a bin file. The Q file is going to tell your burning software exactly how you want that burnt, and the bin is just the binary. Hit enter. You get a bunch of errors on the 3DO Konami M2, just about metadata. It does not matter. But now you'll see in that folder, we have two new files, a bin and a queue, and that's going to set us up ready to be able to burn this disk for the target hardware. What I'll do is I'll leave those command line prompts down in the description below. And I did put that title card up as well. It just gives you the format of how you need to structure the commands so that you can get that bin and queue exported out from the compressed hunks of data file. But now that we have our burnable files, what we're going to do is launch X Duplicator Beta 5. It's what I use as I've had a lot of luck with it, burning arcade discs, especially for the Konami M2 platform. But you can certainly use whatever program you're comfortable with. Your mileage may vary. Sometimes you get a bad burn, but it kind of is what it is. Your prerogative on that. With X Duplicator Beta 5, you do need to scan the bus so that you can identify your CD-ROM burner. And then you will have to assign that as both the reader and the writer. But once you've done that, all you need to do is go ahead and click go. You'll select that Q file. That's all you need to select. And as long as the bin's in the same folder, it will identify the file that you're burning. And then it'll go ahead and take over and burn it from there. You will see that I did speed this up. It takes like three minutes to burn it. I don't want to show you all that. But once you get that burn completed, you have a disc that you can put in, a Konami M2, and it's going to play that game just like it would if it was an original disc. Since the Konami M2 games use a different file system called Opera, what we do just to confirm that it does work is we'll open up Opera FS Reader. FS stands for File System. And we'll just go ahead and click the CD-ROM button, and then we're going to go and pick our target CD-ROM burner. That way we can actually read the disk. Just drop down and pick H here, and we'll hit OK. And you're going to see the entire file system for that disk shows up, including the subdirectories. So now we know we have a 100% perfect copy of a CD-ROM image that we extracted from the CHD file. And this is going to work for pretty much any CHD file for CD-ROM based hardware. There are games that run on hard drives and you can extract the hard drive image from the CHD as well. This tutorial is just for optical image disks like a CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, anything like that. But now that you know how to make the files, you are good to go. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, check back for some more on technicalities as well as our main series on Tuesdays. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you can do us a huge favor, hit the like and subscribe button. It takes us a long time to make these videos, and we really appreciate all your support. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.